Yes, hello again and welcome back to your number one and favourite classic dirt bike TV channel here on YouTube where we continue to rediscover more of those old school vintage and classic race bikes from back in the day. Now as we head towards the 15,000 subscribers total, I'd like to say a quick thank you out there to all the people who have been supporting my channel and uh, if you haven't already uh, subscribed to my channel then now would be quite a good time to do that because we do have some really interesting machines coming up in the following weeks and a month so if uh, these kind of classic bikes are the, the sort of thing that you like to look at here on YouTube then please uh, consider uh, subscribing uh, to CDB uh, TV. Okay coming up next we're going to take a look at a quite iconic uh, machine from uh, 1980. Now despite what many people think that uh, Alan Clues and CCM only ever made uh, four-stroke machines. Uh, they did make uh, these two-stroke bikes in 1979 and 1980 and we're going to take a look at one of those examples uh, right now. So let's dive straight into the video and take a look at this lovely 1980 CCM 250 high row. And so as I said you may have already come across a clip of this bike already on my YouTube channel if you're a regular uh, subscriber but uh, it's such a rare and very nice looking bike that it's uh, got to be worth another uh, look here on CDB uh, TV. Now although it's still uh, quite a rare bike and certainly different from the normal uh, BSA engined four-stroke bikes from CCM these 1980 250 two-strokers were still all part of the Clues competition machine's uh, racing history. Now the story of our bike here begins back in 1980 when it began its life as a brand new machine sitting in Dave Muchlow's motorcycle shop in Longlands in Middlesbrough of that year. Now it was originally bought by Peter Bland when he traded in his old 380 Italian Moto Vila for this 250 and the full uh, purchase price was around £1400 which uh, for 1980 was still a fair chunk of cash for a twin shock 250 motocrosser. Now it's said that uh, Peter rode the CCM for most of that year up until he then uh, damaged his knee at one of his local club scrambles at uh, Woodhouse Farm in Great uh, Ayton and uh, after a brief healing process Peter then tried to race the bike once again uh, before the end of the 1980 racing season but he soon found that uh, his original injury uh, wasn't fully healed and the CCM 250 Hyro was then parked in a corner of his workshop for the next uh, five years. Now it's said that over the following years various amateur attempts were made to try and restore the bike to its original 1980 condition but without much success and in 2017 the bike was then bought by classic bike building fan uh, Colin Lee whose intention was then to do the job uh, right and then put it back to its original uh, 1980s spec. So basically as soon as Colin uh, purchased the bike it was then immediately dismantled into the sum of its parts and almost uh, each and every single uh, piece on the bike was either refurbished or completely restored to its original uh, 1980 condition. And so beginning with the CCM frame now this was all blasted to remove the old original paint and any damage or repairs that were needed were then rectified before it was then uh, repainted. Now naturally the other chassis parts like the rear swing arm and the top and bottom fork yokes and the fork uh, lower stanchions were all given the new uh, paint treatment. Now the blasting and uh, repainting of all of the chassis parts was uh, quite hard work uh, Colin told me but uh, in the end he thought uh, the finished result uh, was absolutely perfect. 
Which neatly uh, brings us on to exactly why CCM were using these Italian-made Hyro two-stroke motors on these 1980 bikes. But quite simply put, uh, CCM in 1979 and 1980 were beginning to run out of their supplies of the old BSA B50 motors and even the old BSA factory at Smallheath uh, never even had sufficient supplies left of old stock engines since they uh, closed down in the 1970s and it just wasn't feasible for Alan Clues to then tool up his Bolton factory to make engines so it was then that Alan uh, took the decision to make uh, two-stroke motocrossers using an outside engine supplier as this uh, was uh, the best and most cost-effective way to build the bikes. Now, Alan decided on these Italian-made Hyro motors because uh, they did have quite a good reputation for being light and uh, they were very quick, but more importantly, uh, the price and their unlimited availability were absolutely perfect for Alan's needs and uh, during 1980, Alan Clues uh, continued to build his four-stroke bikes alongside these lighter uh, two-strokers. So when the bike's uh, new owner Colin Lee stripped down this two-stroke Hyro motor, uh, every bearing, uh, seal and gasket was of course renewed and any other parts that never passed inspection uh, were then thrown in the bin and simply uh, replaced. Now the motor's barrel was replated and the brand new piston and ring was fitted because the bore was still in a great condition for a 42 year old uh, machine. Now CCM used these Hyro two stroke motors in the 1979 and 1980 bikes and although uh, the 1979 250 had a 6 speed gearbox this was then changed to a 5 speed for 1980. Now with regards to the engines fueling, now I can't be exactly sure if this flat slide key and carburetor was a stock fitting back in 1980 but I expect it'll do a fine job on this Hyro motor breathing its air through what was a plastic air box and foam filter. Now more Italian influences again on this 1980 CCM with these Marzocchi front forks which uh, were hugely popular on many off-road bikes of the late 1970s and early 80s and uh, once more uh, these were mated to a set of old school uh, drum brakes on the front although I'm not uh, up to speed on the actual manufacturer of the drum brakes but uh, for their day uh, these Marzocchis did work very well and they were perfectly suited to this light uh, two-stroke uh, CCM machine. Now one other particular point to mention on uh, this machine is uh, this bike of Collins still has its original uh, alloy wheels from 1980 which is a very rare thing to find on a 42-year-old two-stroke racer. Now once again at the rear of our 250 we have a pair of white power uh, shocks and again uh, for 1980 these white power units were excellent uh, for that period and uh, these WP units had these uh, remote gas and oil reservoirs uh, that were strapped onto the side of the CCM's uh, chassis and although these were still uh, decent suspension units they didn't have a huge amount of scope for uh, some tuning and or adjustments uh, to the rebound and damping but they were still very functional and uh, quite rugged and uh, reliable. Now once again the motor's expansion chamber is the original stock item that came with the Hyro engine in 1980 and Colin said that uh, all he had to do was just some light repair work and a full uh, repaint to get it back to its 1980 uh, racing spec. 
Now there are still a few dings in the pipe, but uh, nothing uh, so serious as to justify uh, major uh, surgery on what was still a very good original uh, condition exhaust expansion chamber. Now the tailpipe again had also been given a check over and this uh, once more was uh, more or less damage free before then being painted in high temperature matte black paint. Now once more Colin said that he had to do some uh, very light repairs on the bike seal tank before uh, then having it all stripped and then uh, repainted and just to make sure that, that particular part of the job was finished a new set of uh, CCM decals were then sourced and uh, refitted. Although as you can see the uh, finished product uh, did turn out uh, superbly and uh, I've always thought that uh, for that 1980s period these CCM fuel tanks were certainly among some of the best uh, looking fuel cells that you could find uh, on a motocross machine of that year. Now with regards to the seat on our CCM 250 Hyro, the original seat cover uh, was in a terrible state when Colin first uh, purchased the bike and although thankfully uh, the important parts like the seat base and its foam were still intact and in good order. So Colin then uh, refurbished those parts and then he sourced a brand new replacement cover from the guys at Evo Motocross and then he stretched it over the original foam and base to complete uh, the seat's uh, restoration. And so as we move on to the controls department of our CCM, we have a pair of uh, proper uh, period correct handlebars with its original 1980 CCM bar pad still fitted, which is a super rare part to find on an old uh, CCM uh, these days. Now uh, the clutch and the front brake levers and their covers are uh, all quality Magura parts and the uh, throttle gasser twist grip assembly is another uh, Magura unit which is uh, manufactured in magnesium just to try and save a few precious grams of weight on uh, what is already a very light uh, motorcycle. But once again, all of the uh, control cables on this bike, as you'd expect, are brand new replacement items because, uh, let's face it, uh, you're not going to uh, refit original 42-year-old control cables to our newly uh, refurbished uh, motocrosser. Now again, the bike's plastic parts, including both front and rear mudguards and uh, right and left side panels and front number plate uh, still all look at the period correct parts for our uh, 1980 CCM high row although uh, I was never really told on the day if these were the original parts or replacement items that are now uh, bolted on uh, to this particular bike. Although as per the rest of the CCM chassis, the bike's rear swing arm was made of steel and at first glance it's not really unsimilar to the old Michael swing arms of that same 1980s period but uh, once more an old school uh, drum brake on the rear wheel but uh, of course it wouldn't be too long before CCM were then catching up with the rest of the pack and began uh, fitting modern style hydraulic brakes on all of their future uh, motocross models. But nevertheless, these old school drum brakes did do uh, quite a good job on this uh, very light 250 uh, two-stroker. Now the CCM range of bikes in 1979 and 1980 consisted of six models for that period because uh, you could have either a 125 or 250 version of these Hyro two-strokers or you could still 
get your hands on a 500, a 545, a 580, or even a huge 620cc four-stroke bike that naturally used that tried and tested BSA B50 motor. Although in terms of their rarity, these are still quite rare items when you consider that in 1979 CCM sold around 150 of these two-stroke machines alongside around 130 of their bread and butter bigger four-stroke bikes. So as you can gather, these 250 CCM Hyros weren't exactly manufactured in huge numbers and that's more than likely the reason that you virtually never ever see one of these bikes on a racetrack uh, these days. But that's certainly not to say that these were bad bikes because they weren't. They were just not made in big enough numbers. So there you have it. I do hope you enjoy that. Uh, another quite rare British made machine from uh, CCM and uh, one of the very few uh, two-stroke bikes that uh, Alan Clues manufactured between 1979 and 1980. A lovely uh, 250 uh, Hyro bike. So coming up in my next video posting we'll be uh, taking a look at another two-stroke uh, dirt bike and uh, this time round we'll be uh, having a look at this uh, quite nice looking twin port CZ bike. Now uh, this of course is not an original uh, CZ bike from back in the day. It's one of those uh, more modern interpretations of an older uh, CZ bike, but nevertheless, it's still a nice looking machine. And this bike here belongs to Kenny Harper. So uh, we'll be taking a look at that bike when we return for my next video posting here on my channel. But until then, of course, everybody continue to watch what you're doing out there when you're riding those old vintage at classics and we'd like to see you all back here again safe and sound when we return to talk about more vintage iron white here on your number one and favorite classic dirt bike tv channel